All right, so we now have two 100 watt Thunderbolt uh, panels and I have wired them in series and I did this with a series of just, uh, you know, miscellaneous jumpers and extensions and things that come in the connection pack um, to series wire it basically. The positive of this side goes to the negative of this side and then you take the remaining positive and negative and run them into your extension cable. So these are rated roughly at about 20 volts a piece. And uh, just like my folding briefcase panel, this is just two single panels. Uh, again, so they're rated at about 20 volts each in perfect sunlight and about seven amps. So we'll follow this over here and see what we've got. Of course, my batteries are full, but we're sitting at uh, 14 and a half uh, volts charging. You can see that the solar panel, this little arrows lighting up so we're charging from the solar panel to the batteries let's take a look look at that 39 volts so we're bringing in 39 volts because we series wired the panels voltage is additive so if we series wired another panel we should be getting around 60 volts the cool thing about this mppt uh, charge controller is it takes this excess voltage above 14 and a half volts and converts it to amperage and because we're not increasing amperage, I can run 40 volts through this tiny little uh, extension cable and it doesn't get hot, it doesn't overheat. Whereas if we parallel wired these, the voltage would stay the same, but the amperage would go up and you'd need a lot heavier gauge cable. So there we are, we're sitting at 38, 30, almost 39 volts. Now let's look at our amperage. So it's currently charging at four point. Oh, look at that, it's dropping off. So when I looked at this earlier, uh, this was at like uh, 13 or 14 amps, but the battery's full, so it's, it's slowly bringing the amperage down. Anyhow, you know, pretty cool. I'll try to uh, turn this thing on and use some, some power so that we can see the full amperage output. Okay, so what I've done here is I've turned on the 2000 watt inverter. You can see the power up. And I've got the hot plate again plugged into my 20 amp circuit over here. And hopefully you can see the little light. It is on, medium, it is hot. But I needed to draw the batteries down some because the uh, they were full. And the charge controller was just basically going into idle mode. So take a look now. 14.98 amps. I mean, we're charging hard. That's pretty sweet. 15 amps is pretty respectable for two panels. And, uh, you know, that's, like, for instance, here is my wall plug-in charger. Uh, it's a Schumacher brand. That's 15 amps coming out of the wall. So right now, those two panels, right there, series wired, into the 40 amp Renogy charge controller, it's putting out the same power that you'd get out of a wall plug-in charger. That's that's pretty respectable. And this is scalable. Um, you know, you can see we're sitting at 14.71 amps right now. Let's go look at 30.4 volts. So it's come down a little bit for voltage, but uh, that's coming straight out of the solar panel, 30.6 volts. We're charging at 12.3 uh, volts. Now we're just going to cycle through some of these. 30.6 volts is our panel voltage. 14.7 amps. We're charging the batteries at. Battery's at 63% right now with that draw on them. Battery voltage is sitting at 12.4. Uh, we don't have the light turned on or anything like that. Batteries are at 28 degrees Celsius. Stupid Celsius. Anyhow. Um, that's our setting for the light. There are no error codes. Yeah, so here we are again. 30.6 volts. That's pretty sweet. So these Thunderbolt panels definitely can be connected in series, even though they, they don't say they can. I've seen other people do it, and they do work. So again, 30 volts from the panel at almost a 15 amp charge. That is sweet. So I've got my uh, digital multimeter probes 
plugged into my extension. The extension is running out to the panels, as you can see there. So I just unplugged it from the charge controller, plugged in my uh, digital multimeter, and we're going to 39.8 volts, basically 40 volts. So we are definitely series wired. It is definitely working. Uh, this little cable never got hot, never got warm, not scary at all. And that's the advantage to series wiring parallels and upping your voltage. The amperage stays the same. So you can run tiny little cable like this um, with less loss at higher voltages and, and not require heavy cable because the amperage stays low. Pretty sweet. Check it one more time. 39.7 volts coming straight out of the panels. So what I wanted to do is take a second and show you how I'm going to series wire these panels with nothing more than this little battery attachment and the extension cable that comes in the wiring kit. Um, so first thing you want to do is you're going to want to series the panels. And what that means is you want to connect the positive of one to the negative of the other. Um, so these are SAE plugs, and they're male-female um, in this particular setup. The male is the, uh, is the negative, and the positive red wire is the female. So all we got to do is take the negative of one panel, the right here, and we're going to plug it into the positive of the other. And because these are SAE, it just works out, male to female. So what we've got now is an unconnected positive and an unconnected negative. And if we were to check voltage from here to here out in the sun, it would be 40 volts. It's additive. It would be whatever this panel can make or is rated at plus whatever this panel is rated at. So disconnected, it's 20 volts and 20 volts. As soon as you series wire them from here to here is now 40 volts. So then the next thing I want to do is this is my extension cable that would run back to my charge controller. This is the positive right here. We're just going to plug this in right there, one half of it. So now we've got these two loops right here, which is the negative side and the negative side. Make sense? Plug the positive onto there and take the positive clip and clip it right here. And that's it. Run this guy back to your charge controller and plug it in. You'll get 40 volts out of these two right here, checking it with a voltmeter or whatever your panel's added it together or rated at. So again, ignore what I just did that last time, but you're going to take, plug it in, take your corresponding, whichever one that is, corresponding alligator clip and clip it on. Now this isn't a waterproof setup. This isn't ideal, you know, uh, because you'll be whatever the panels can produce in full sun, let's say seven amps. Um, you're running seven amps through that tiny little contact patch where, where that alligator clip is clamped on. It would be better if you had a little extension, um, you know, with dual SAEs, you could plug on here and then plug into here, and that would be better yet. Uh, I ordered MC4 connectors. I'm gonna replace all of these with standard MC4 connectors. Um, it's what most solar panels on the planet use. But anyhow, I just wanted to take a second to show you how you can series wire these panels with little more than your standard extension and one of these guys. It's not ideal, but it'll get you through in a pinch. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, rate, and comment, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.